Hello, this is Tom Rash, President of Southeastern Infrared, and today we're going to do a brief overview on using thermal imaging as a valuable tool for evaluating stucco siting. It is important to understand that thermal imaging cameras cannot detect moisture. They simply see the energy given off by different objects and materials and displays them as a thermal image. Here you can see that my cat has very warm ears. While the thermal image can record specific temperatures, with stucco evaluation we are not as concerned with the actual temperature as we are the differences in temperature. We call these differences anomalies. Let's look at a couple of examples to demonstrate what I'm talking about. In this image, we see a stucco wall as it normally appears. This is how thermal imager sees the wall. We can see the wall framing and the stucco siding looks consistent throughout the image based on the even thermal patterns. Here's another example. In this image, we see a typical window and you see a crack in the stucco. However, in this image, we see a distinct difference under the window. This is what we call the anomaly. The question is then, what causes the anomaly? Since the anomaly is recorded as a temperature differential, it's important to be able to discern if the cause is evaporative cooling from moisture, missing insulation, air infiltration or exfiltration, or perhaps mechanical systems inside the wall. The only true way to determine moisture behind stucco is with a moisture meter. The problem is, where do we test the wall? This is where thermal imaging is so important as it gives us a map of where to test for possible moisture infiltration. Without this map, probing the stucco with a moisture meter is a hit or miss proposition. We recently had a residence that had been probed 19 places with a moisture meter and given a clean bill of health. I've highlighted a couple of the probe locations that are visible on the wall. The owner then had us scan the stucco and we discovered several anomalies that we recommended further testing with a moisture meter. Using the thermal images as a guide, it was discovered that these areas were in excess of 30% moisture and the stucco was compromised. The original testing had simply missed the critical areas. As I stated earlier, thermal imaging is just one tool in getting an accurate evaluation of stucco siding and must be followed up with additional testing to confirm moisture infiltration and the extent of the infiltration. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview on using thermal imaging for stucco evaluation. If you'd like more detailed information on thermal imaging and its other uses for evaluating your property, please give Southeastern Infrared a call at 843 two four seven five one one five or visit our website at www.southeasternir.com. Thanks for watching.